Good day, everyone, and welcome to another exciting vocab lesson. This is Mr. Stitt, and today we're going to go over week 22 for my 7th grade students. Here's a list of the words this week. Newtent, Fife, Decor, Ledger, Jaunt, and Jargon. So let's jump into the first word, find out what it means. The first word this week is newtent, newtent, and that is an adjective, so it describes something. And it means drooping, nodding, usually when a flower or plant stem droops because of a lack of water, too much sun, or a lack of nutrients. So Mr. Stitt is a gardener, and my wife and I, we love to plant lots of different plants and flowers. And we have definitely seen some newtent plants around our yard, if it's like the dead heat of the summer. If it gets too hot outside and we haven't watered, they definitely kind of droop a little bit. I can also describe uh, anyone as newtent. If you see a person who's kind of droopy and sad and malnourished, they might be in a newtent or droopy state. Um, a, a building or a thing, anything that's kind of droopy or limp, that uh, can be described as newtent. So synonyms would be limp, languid, lethargic, leaning, or lackadaisical. Newtent. The next word this week is fife, and it's a noun. And it's a high-pitched transverse flute used commonly in military and marching musical groups. So you've probably seen this in movies or television before, like a colonial soldier playing the fife as he riles up the troops before battle. And uh, if you are using it as a verb, fife means to play a fife. It's usually really high-pitched, and uh, you know it when you hear it. It's definitely got a very fifey type sound. So synonyms of fife would be flute, pipe, toot, trill or warble fife the next word this week is decor decor and you've probably seen this on television or in stores if you walk through a furniture store and it's a noun so it's a thing and it's a style or mode of decoration as of a room building or the like decoration in general ornamentation so you can see here this room is very beautifully decorated everything kind of matches and goes together it has a very unique style They've bought all these decor pieces, like the mirror on the wall, the fancy china on the mantel. They've also got a ottoman and some chairs. This is a beautifully decorated or decored room. So synonyms of decor would be color scheme, decoration, interior design, ornament, or ornamentation. Decor. The next word this week is ledger. Ledger. And it's a noun that means an account book or final entry in which business transactions are recorded. So, we don't really use physical ledgers anymore. Uh, we use a lot of digital ledgers, like um, adults use Microsoft Excel to uh, create, um, kind of create documents where they balance their checkbook. Uh, businesses use ledgers to make sure that the money that's being spent is not going in excess, so thus creating debt. Um, so it's anytime you write something down, of how much you spend and how much you earn, uh, and to keep it balanced. So synonyms of ledger would be book, daybook, journal, register, or record book. Ledger. The next word this week is jaunt. Jaunt. Now this is a noun, so it's something that you do, and uh, uh, or it's a verb. I'm sorry, it's a noun or a verb. So a jaunt, when used as a noun, is a short journey, especially one taken for pleasure. So if I go on a jaunt, uh, or there's a jaunt laid out before me. It's a thing, like a walking trail, like in this image. But if I'm doing a jaunt, I'm making a short journey myself. I'm actually jaunting through the woods. So um, synonyms for this would be excursion, jog, journey, ramble, safari, stroll, and trek. Jaunt. The next word this week is jargon. Jargon. And jargon is a noun, which means the language, especially the vocabulary, peculiar to a particular trade, profession, or group. So I want you to think about jargon kind of like it's, it's language specific to a group of people. So teenagers today, you guys have a specific jargon that most adults don't know the meaning of. Like some of my students in class, they'll say things and I'll say, what, what does that mean? Because I don't speak their same jargon. Um, adults use jargon in specific professions, like doctors will say words with other doctors that only doctors know. And lawyers will say words with other lawyers that only lawyers know. Um, think about people that even work in a sandwich shop. Sandwich People who make sandwiches probably have sandwichy type words that only they know. So jargon can also be known as slang, specialty language, idiom, vernacular, or special vocabulary used in one particular industry. So jargon. 
Well, thanks so much for joining us this week. Here's a list of my week 22 words for the 7th grade students. They are Newtons, Fife, Decor, Ledger, Jaunt, and Jargon. Hope to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.